composition of air we all know that there are so many components of air that are available with us the air contains the nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide dust and smoke along with many other gases as the water vapor is also present so let us discuss about nitrogen nitrogen is a gas which is approximately containing 78% of air so it is actually comprising 78% of the total air but it does not support burning and it is always present in some or the other form but it being in so much of quantity it cannot be consumed or it cannot be used by the plants and animals directly it is present in two types of oxides NO2 and NO we see that if nitrogen is not supporting the life then what is it that supports life it is oxygen yes oxygen is the gas that is present in air and which supports burning now let us do an experiment to conclude that air occupies space for this we can take a simple balloon that's easily available with all of us and we can just start blowing into blowing some air into it and on doing so we would notice that when we keep on blowing and as we keep on blowing air into the balloon the balloon starts increasing the size and the moment we just stop blowing air it remains at that size and the moment we try to pull out the air the balloon gets back to its own shape therefore we say it is the air which is going inside the balloon and expanding it reason being because air is occupying the space now air has weight how do we conclude this again for the same we have taken one experiment here we will take the two balloons of the exact same size and we will tie them tightly so that the air does not leave them or the air is not able to escape now we have tied both the balloons on the either ends of a wooden ruler and we have tied the wooden ruler from the middle but here as I told you that both the balloons have the exactly same weight there is no movement in the wooden ruler now is the experiment now you take a prick and just prick one of the balloons you would notice immediately the ruler has bent down from the side where the balloon is still inflated that means it is having some weight which is more than here it is because the balloon over there has some air into it and therefore we can conclude and we can come to the conclusion that air has weight because of which only it is able to bend the wooden ruler to the either side now how do we say that combustion requires air combustion is the burning only for this experiment we take the three glass jars the A, B and C and we will be requiring three candles along with them for the first one we have put two wooden pieces over there and we have placed a candle right in between those wooden blocks over them we have placed a just a jar or a container kind of a thing but immediately that didn't extinguish it kept on burning for some time and slowly and slowly it extinguished here was no block placed here also the candle continued to bring uh, just burn for some time but it extinguished a little after that over here immediately there was neither any block placed and there was no air and we had even covered the mouth here so here immediately it extinguished so what is the difference between the three it is because in the first case the air supply was continuing and it was maximum so the reason being because of that there was the candle that it continued to burn for a long time now we shall see another experiment where we have taken a container and we are boiling some water when we have boiled the water it has converted started converting into water vapor we covered it with the lid and we had switched on the tap immediately you would notice that the can has changed its shape it got shrunk this is because there was air present inside this which has kept the container in the same shape but when the water came down onto it those water vapors had completely condensed and reason because of which the tin can had changed its shape 